Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So this is going to be a mod review for yesterday, Monday the 14th of March, and today, Tuesday the 15th of March. There was only one mod that came out yesterday. We have got a couple of updates for both those days as well. Uh, we'll do today's update just because it's the order it comes up in on the picture. Uh, we've got the tree sapling pack by Mac Trucker 921 Part of the update of that is the ability to purchase in smaller quantities because that was 120 um, saplings per pallet. You can now pick between 6, 40, 60 or 120 saplings if 120 was too many and you didn't want that many. Uh, and then the other one from yesterday was the Meridian Storage by the Flying Dutchman. Part of the update to that has been oh yeah there's um, a set of the silos added that don't require augers plus they've added more crop types in grapes olives potatoes sugar beet sugar beet cut sugar cane manure wood chips and silage um on those two updates before i get on for yesterday's mod which is the um placeable power line by top ace 888 i just want to mention these because i was ill and have been ill um i didn't do mod reviews thursday and friday last week but a couple of mods that stood out um, Schultz modding, there's this, um, this is the placeable sleep trigger or portable sleep trigger and it's um, basically, a, it's a hold all. Um, it's 0 0.15 megabytes download, once placed you come to it one side, you've got your sleep trigger, come to it the other side and you can unzip it and you can, uh, hang on, unzip it and go to your wardrobe. Uh, you can take it, so you sing the back of a pickup, whatever you want to do, take it wherever, wherever you save it. Um, that will be where it will stay if you leave the game come back so but it's um it's cool and the other one is and for me for doing a mod reviews this there are a few different sell points and stuff available this also from Schultz modding the sell everything mod 1.47 megabytes download there's two of these one with the containers like that um, which is uh, eight slots and then there's one that doesn't have the containers just as the sell point um, for three slots this will do lumber as well. This will you can sell everything, anything you can get in game you can sell. So when I'm setting up mod reviews and things, and I'm putting things into whatever it might be, if I've got anything left over, up until now what I've been doing is resetting my trailer and resetting my trailer and going backwards and forwards. But I can just drive it over here, dump what I've got left in the trailer, and then carry on again. Um, and this this is only, I think it's a thousand, to put that onto a map it's brilliant so yeah i just thought i'd mention those um on to today uh, yesterday's mod sorry the placeable power line this is by top ace 888 0.18 megabytes download one slot each and i say each because we've got an end section like this that has the power lines that comes down to the earth point and to the ground and then you've got the center sections in the middle and these work like fences so if we go into our build mode and we go along to uh decoration and fences just before the very end we've got these two here so you've got the power line with pole that's your middle sections you've got power line end with end pole so 1500 for the end pole then it says 100 but obviously it depends how much you stretch that out so what i'll do is just hopefully if i've left myself enough room if we do the end pole now bear you have to, something you have to bear in mind is you want to come in a little bit because it actually puts it the, the wrong way around so to speak um hang on we're gonna put it let's go to i'm gonna get myself in the way here aren't i you know what i'm gonna go right out of the way at the back here so put that one down and then you can swing it around whichever way you want it to start from so if, for example if i start from there then come off of that one then go on to the other one and it will give you a point where you can place it like that but if you put it up next to that it takes it directly from the previous pole so if you don't have something come up it's probably because it's doing it from there then we stretch it out and we can do our stretches we can change directions and it has nice big gaps between then we get to the end come back off it again go on to the other one click from there and then we can put our end section in again wherever you want from there it is purely decorative but if you want to add some telegraph poles across your map, I know a lot of people don't like them in the middle of their fields and stuff like that, but it is, it's a nice decorative object, that. Um, pretty cool. So that was yesterday's mod, the placeable power line by Top Ace 888. Uh, moving on to today's then, we're going to start, we're going to start with this. 
This is the Duvelsdorf round bale fork by Rick Black Labelle TWD modding. 0.69 megabytes download, two slots on console. Um, it's a round bale fork and it attaches to a three point link or something with a three point link. Various different adapters and things are available in all different locations now. This will raise, lower, tilt forward, tilt backwards, um, and it's designed for picking up round bales. You'll find it under bale loaders. 2200 no options available you get it just like that and that's what it's for that's the Duval's Dorf round bale fork by Rick Black Labelle TWD modding next we've got this um, this is the where are we the rustic brick and metal fence this is by um, Michael LS 2.14 megabytes download again these are one slot each um, and then the price will vary depending on how far you stretch them out. I've done the same thing. I put a section in, then added the gate section in, then put another section afterwards. Fairly straightforward to put in once placed. The gate slides on the rollers that side and closed again. The detailing on the wall is amazing. I mean, it is truly amazing. Fantastic. Also under build mode. Also under decoration and fences. This one was right at the very end. So the gate section is 1,200 and the fence section is 750, which then again will depend once we place it, how far we drag it. And if I come off of that and then go to the gate, I can start directly from there or put it somewhere else. But if I start from there, why is that not? Oh, that's interesting. Is it because I'm in the way? There we go. I go back onto the gate section, stick it on the end. Nope. From there. Oh, I wonder why it's doing it from that end. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward to place obviously like I've done there you, that gate's not going to slide through that wall that, that should have been straight or going the other way it was just to show you the angles you could put them out but that's the um, rustic brick and metal fence by Mikhail L S next we've got the small horse pasture I'm glad this is back uh, this is by no name it is 3.44 megabytes download seven slots on console it will hold two horses uh, the trigger is just outside here even with the interactive zone markers on, it doesn't have a dialogue thing it's just out here you see top left it comes up um, for putting them in taking them out we can open this section up here to go in water I filled from the outside here into that container um, I managed to put hay into here now these are supposed to take oats or sorghum I couldn't get this trigger to work I tried a few different trailers it may have been me, it may have been the angle I was coming at it, I'm not too sure, but I, I couldn't get it to work. Uh, once placed, you'll get your, your menu come up for your horse pasture, and obviously they are then going to need daily riding for their fitness and health or whatever. So their base food, like I say, should be made up of um, oat or sorghum, but I, I couldn't, I just couldn't get it to put it in for some reason. But anyway, yeah. Uh, 1,500 litres of water, 4,000 litres of hay, and then the base food, if you can get it in, goes in there. This you'll find under build mode, animals and horses. It's only 8,000 for the two-horse pasture. It's a bit more manageable, I think, two horses. Especially when you get up to things like 16 pastures for 16 horses. It can get a little bit much, but that's pretty cool. The uh, small horse pasture by no name. Next, we've got the small dairy. This is a bit more of a an acceptable proposition compared to some of the massive factories that we've got available to us. This is by uh, Nailu. It is 6.34 megabytes download, eight slots on console. It will set you back 40 grand. Not a too bad a size. It will hold when full 50,000 litres of milk and 18,000 litres of sugar. I've got it set on making chocolate at the moment. If we go up to our point here and press L3, you'll see I've got it set on chocolate. Um, but there's the recipes, 15 to 13 for butter, 3 to 2 for cheese, 
and uh, one plus one sugar gives you a chocolate out and I've had it sit on chocolate running um, over overnight I think it was overnight on the past couple of nights because I had to get some grass to grow which will make more sense in a minute um, that's what it looks like when you've actually got it around the back is where you put your products in and that's where your pallets will spawn I've just moved them out, out of the way the chocolate just so you can see them in the light makes stuff a little bit easier doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, it's not. I like this one. It's, it's a nice size building. Also under build mode, under productions, under factories. Uh, I want to make sure I don't miss it. That one there. If I remember when I edit, I'll zoom in. Uh, Forty grand uh, slot count on that will come down from eight to one for any subsequent one you place. After that, very handy indeed. Uh, that one is by Lelu. Moving on, we've got the DETK5. Which is this again very nicely detailed this is by totha totha 17.43 megabytes download 10 slots on console this is a liquid transport trailer 5000 liter really nicely detailed this one like i always say not that any of the others aren't you know but yeah very nicely detailed swivel front axle there's um you there's one of of these and then you then pick your colors but they will take it will take any liquids does that make sense <laughs> sounded better in my head before i started actually speaking um you'll find it under animals out on the end there 25 grand we've got the option of michelin lizard continentals and the Michelin, we've got standard, wheel weights, standard two, and weights, standard three, and weights, back to standard. Lizards, we've just got a standard tyre. Then under Continental, we've got a standard, standard two, and back again. Main colour, any one of those. Actually, the yellow, you can't really see the writing very well. There goes the red. Design colour changes the chassis. Then we've got black, black two, black three. These are actually greys. Um, so that's the black one slightly lighter one and then a green and then rim color any one of those four mix and match coordinate however you want to go about it and there is a license plate option as well um and yeah i think i put water in it for the horses when i bought that over and it um yeah that does exactly what it says on the tin it, it transports liquids um so that's the d-e-t-k-5 did i say it? yeah Next, moving on from there. Right, we have got the Heavy Meadow Rollers. And there's quite a few different options in this. And I'm hoping these are going to work <laughs> the way I think they're going to work. Um, they look like this. Well, one set of them looks like this. That's the set that comes pre-made pre in a set of three. And you get it like that, all framed. And you raise it, lower it, and away you go. There's another one of those there. That's what it looks like, folded. And then we've got the option of these separate ones. We can have one that has either foldable wings or fixed wings or a left wing, right wing, however you want to go about it. And then you add the extra rollers on. So you could also then put multiple ones of these together and then add them on so you can have a whole string of them coming right out. Um, so these ones are rollers. So when you've done your planting, seeding, whatever you want to do, or beforehand, you can roll your ground. Normally, after you've done your seeding, you do your rolling, and it will give you an increased um, yield of about 5%. There's the grassland option of these, and this is why I've planted some grass, cut the grass. Once you've cut your grass, you can roll with the grassland roller, and that will give you a fertilized state. Cutting the grass normally gives you one, roll over it with that it will give you another fertilized state without the need of fertilizer and then we've also got a silage uh, like a silo compacting one which is this one again hope <laughs> hopefully these are all going to work uh you'll find the first ones then and uh where should we go to first we'll do rollers first so there you can see them uh, the LVH5 is the one that comes as a set. 30 grand, 90 horsepower required. That's five slots. Do I put that down? Yep, yeah, that's five slots. We've got option of, and this, the option is the same in all of these in the various different configurations. Uh, standard with warning signs, with a mudguard. Mudguard and warning signs back to standard. Main colour changes the framework. Design colour changes the ends of the barrels. 
or barrels, the rollers, and then rim color and on that palette to change to your rim color. Uh, and then we've got these ones here. Now this one, the LVV 1700, you've got fixed frame wings. You can have a frame and warning sign. Then you've got folding left, folding right, folding arms. So you can have it fixed or foldings up to you. Same thing, you can change the main color, same palettes on both color palettes that is um, and then we've got on here standard with warning signs and we can change the main colors on those separate ones too then if we go to grassland care same rollers same options these are just the ones that are specific for grassland care and then if we go to not under levelers but under silo compaction on the end there you've got the lvv 1700 it does say heavy meadow roller but it is under silo compaction so i'm assuming it has something extra mass to it uh the weight of a star or something in there um same options we can change the main color and the design color so <laughs> fingers crossed what should happen with the grassland version is, is i've already unfolded it but if we fold the roller it's quite a slow operation that's why i wanted to kind of unfold it already as you can see it takes a while goes up on its wheels folds the way up so we'll fold that back down again when we lower it, you can see the grass is quite light now. That's just been cut, so that should be on one fertilizing state. If I drop it down, I don't need to turn it on. Now as I roll forward, it should be, there you go. The grass is now going darker because I'm rolling over it and I'm getting another fertilizing state. It's costing me nothing, I'm just rolling it. So that's what the grassland one should do. Um, the roller version should just roll. I mean, it, it, that's... <laughs> again in theory but i've gone for these ones just to show you uh so if we unfold yeah, unfold the wings back that one up so we hook that one up and keep going so we hook that one up and what should happen as we roll forward it should roll there we go these will act as rollers to compact your ground after you've seeded that's doing what it should be so far they're all behaving i'm really surprised um, and then finally we've got the uh, silo compacting one now I don't know if, if it's going to make a huge amount of difference to the silo compacting but hey we can try I mean it could turn out to be one of those ones you think oh yeah okay then it's absolutely insane if I didn't get stuck straight away on, this, on the camp that would be brilliant I mean, it's not, it does seem to make a difference. This isn't the smoothest camp you're ever going to see, unfortunately. It does seem to be, considering how much I've got in here, if this was a bit smoother and I was going backwards and forwards across it a little bit easier, um, it is actually going up fairly quickly. Yeah, I mean, ignore the tractor bit. <laughs> ignore the idiot in the tractor, just pay attention to the roller. Um, it does seem to be working all right. We are going up a little bit quicker, I think. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave that there before I embarrass myself any further. That's the heavy meadow rollers. Um, oh yeah, 15.35 megabytes download for that pack. They are by Blendart, Kolchosnik Jr. and TT Check Modding. Uh, which brings me on to... Have I got there already? The last of the mods for today. Yeah. And it's this or these. I'm buying one of these for Carlson. I have decided. Um, I thought this, I would have had the sun up a bit further beyond the trees. Um, hang on a second. That's better. This is the John Deere 1113. Uh, 25.71 megabytes download. This is by Eric Isaac Adriano... Ivankio and Agro Mods. It's a 7.5 meter planter, also a direct drill, so no previous ploughing or cultivating is required. Plus, it comes with this frame, and when you do your settings, if you get the standard one, it has a ladder at either end and it has um, ridge markers. Or you can set one to left, one to right, which takes off the ladder at the either end, and you can hook two of these together, and they're not expensive either, which I think is fantastic. Um, they take seed and fertilizer, 
And now often when you use, I do the binding thing silo when I'm doing my mod reviews, often you can put seeds in, then it won't let you do fertilizer, you have to do it from IBCs, we have to come off the trigger, come back. These, no problem at all. I didn't have any issues whatsoever with filling these up. So you'll find them, not in that mode, in here, under planters. 68 grand. 68 grand for 7.5 metre. Direct drill as well. That's that's a no-brainer. I'm just looking across here. That's 54 grand for a 6 metre. So that's 89 for a 9 metre. I, I think that's a brilliant price. Options available on it. We can have it standard, solid fertiliser tank, which adds a bit more on. Um, and then we've got, or off again, then we've got standard, so this is the extensions. At the moment it's got ridge markers either end and ladders either end. We can do right extension, which leaves the ladder that end, takes the ridge markers off completely, because that gets it a bit unwieldy but takes the ladder off of that side, and then left extension does the other way around, so when you hook them together, you don't clatter the ladders together or damage ridge markers. Those are your options on it. Oh yeah, and then the bar itself was under, was under miscellaneous? It was. The tandem 1113 is 10 grand. That is only two slots anyway. Two slots comes down to one, no options available. Big old solid chunk of metal. What I will say though, is these wheels are on complete swivels. So when you're trying to attach initially, it can be a little bit dicey. I'm going to hook both together. Um, but like I say, you can run one on its own. You don't have to hook them together at all. So if I back that one up and hook the other one up. There we go. So we're now running 15 metres. 3,400 litres of fertiliser, 2,000 litres of seed for corn. If I open covers, let's see if we can do this the right way. It's on that one. It'll be the same on the other one. Really nice animation. So now open the fertiliser and away you go. Fantastic. I'm going to hire a worker, so it should load them all down in one go, I hope. <laughs> we will see, won't we? And there we go. Direct drill as well. I like it. I like the flexibility. I like the option of having one on its own if you want to. Which is probably what I'll do initially if I get one for Carmston. And if you get to a point you think, you know what, yeah, let's double this up. It's not mega expensive. You haven't got to get rid of one and buy a whole new uh, planter. You just go with that. Um, as far as... Actually, you know what I didn't check, and I should have checked, um, was... Because sometimes you get ones that do extra crop types. No, it's a standard planter. That's right. I suddenly thought, oh, I haven't checked that. Because um, we had... Which ones was it? Which one was it that we used to get that did loads? Anyway, regardless of that. Yeah, standard Standard planter crops, um, your corn, sunflower, soybean, sugar beet, and uh, cotton. So, yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Very cool indeed. Uh, the John Deere 1113 by Eric Isaac, Adriano Evancio, and Agro Mods. And that's it from me for mods for today. I'm hoping to keep up with them all and everything. There is a new map out today as well. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get onto that. Um, but that's Portugal South by FSPT. Um, but as far as mods go, that's it from me. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.